Hi friends, today we're doing a collective haul of new and thrifted items. I went to LA last weekend for mostly Halloween events, but I ended up doing some thrifting and yeah, we're gonna go through all of those things right now. If you notice, I have a bit of a list. It's because I started Invisalign or the knockoff version called Spark. Honestly, I wish it was a knockoff. It's just as expensive. I finally decided to do something about my semi-crooked teeth. I might take these out because, oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel like I can't speak properly. Yeah, I'm gonna go through all of the pieces and then at the end, we're gonna make some cute outfits with them. Let's get started. So the first place I hit up is Second Street in Long Beach and it's a secondhand shop. They sell vintage, more like high-end street brand sort of things and then just like regular brand. Oh my God, they had the cutest sandwich Liang skirt but I didn't cop because it's it had like blue in it and I'm trying to steer away from blue because I've noticed whenever I buy blue I don't find myself wearing it often so I left it behind also it was like $150 so I was not trying to spend that but I will show a clip of it next to me somewhere there was a lot of cute stuff it might be on the pricier side but that's just what you get with a second hand shop you know it's not like your regular thrift store the only item i picked up there is this modest mouse tee don't believe this is vintage it might be like a remake of an older tee that they came out with and there's no way for me to tell because the tag was cut off unfortunately but regardless I love this. It's super cute. It fits me like the perfect baby tee that I've been looking for. The next pieces I picked up at the World Market in Huntington Beach. And it's basically like a swap me sort of, well, not sort of, it is a swap me. And it's free to get in. A lot of the swap meets I go to usually there's like a, a charge to get in and parking and everything. So that was cool. Anyway, there was tons of vendors and you know, with like newer things, a lot of like vintage as well, secondhand. And my favorite part were these vendors that had just like piles and piles of clothes. And they were usually for like a dollar a piece or like $5 a piece. To be honest, I could have dug more, but I, I was just done. Me and my partner were hungry and we headed out after like maybe two and a half hours, three. All I ended up picking up was this hand knit scarf right here. I think it's really cute. It's in a color I love, so can't go wrong. This was a dollar. And then my favorite piece is this skirt, like hippie sort of skirt. Or I guess it could also be like witchy aesthetic. Look at the quality, the details, the texture. And it says it was made in India. The brand is Advance Apparels, whatever that means. I don't know, but I'm obsessed with the skirt. That was it for all the thrifted items. Now we can move on to all the newer pieces that you guys can actually buy. I know sometimes it's annoying to watch these hauls and it's like, well, that's cute. That's cute. Can't get it. I guess the fun part is looking for your own versions of things sometimes, but not all of us have time to be digging around the thrift store every weekend, so I totally get it. We have these Uniqlo olive trousers. They're high-waisted, wide leg, but anyway, I love them. I just wanted some variety of trousers in my work wardrobe because I think all the ones I have are black. Next two pieces are from Abercrombie & Fitch. I cannot believe the rebrand that they've had. Like everything is so cute, vintage inspired. I will say though, some of their stuff is really shitty quality, like their coats and like some of their sweaters and they're super pricey and they're made of like the cheapest materials, so I don't get it. I just try to be mindful about what I pick up there. And I got this skirt in gray, which is gonna be a trending color this fall. Well, I guess it is fall already, huh? It's still 85 degrees where I live. Anyway, I cannot get enough of squirts as you can probably gather from my content. I, I wear the shit out of squirts. These pants, I am not sure about. They're men's brown cargos. I tried them on in the store, right? And they were like a size too snug. So then I ordered a size up online. And then when I got them, they're still a little too tight on my thighs. I'll show you and you can tell me your opinion whether I should size up one more and then keep them or if I should just return them all together. But yeah, they're just the most perfect color. I love my cargos. So yeah, we'll see. Next up are the most perfect hoodies in the entire world. And they're from Urban Outfitters in the men's section. I got it in this dark brown color. And then I got it in this gray color because why not? You know, I'm gonna be wearing them both, but they're just 
the perfect fit, the perfect amount of bagginess. For reference, I got this in a size small in men's. They're pretty oversized, but yeah, I've been loving wearing these since I got them and I highly recommend. Lastly, I forgot to mention one of these items I purchased online and it is the Rory Gilmore sweater. Like it is the closest replica that I have ever found. It's perfect. Just look at her. She's soft, she's knitted, they got the collar right, the length correct. Bonus points, it's a small business that does like smaller batches. So I feel better about myself for purchasing from them despite my other fast fashion purchases I've just talked about, we'll ignore that. Anyway, so the brand that makes that sweater is called Favorite Child and I highly recommend them. I'll link them down below. I think the sweater might be sold out so you can probably get on the email list or something, but I'm super duper excited to wear that sweater once it starts cooling off. Okay, now it's time to style all of these pieces. Here's a skirt. It worked with the shirt I was wearing so I just left it on and I added some hairy jeans black socks i think this is such a cute look obviously when it starts to get colder i'm gonna wear tights with this and look at the shorts i like that the shorts are actually kind of long usually with the skirts they're like up here and it's like really what is the point you know might as well just wear shorts so yeah i am obsessed it's perfect let's add a blazer i think that would add a little cute touch we got the blazer and because why not, let's just do a toe. Oh, that looks weird when it's empty, huh? There we go, that's better. <laughs> I don't mean to style everything with this shirt, but it just works. I put a button down under this. I know it needs to be ironed. I won't iron it. I don't even know why. I was about to lie to you guys, but anyway um i am obsessed with these pants they are super cute they're the perfect length even without my platform docks uh, and i'm only 5'5 five five, by the way for reference for my shorties out there or normies i don't know what is 5'5 five five considered short or normal or average average is what i was looking for let's see what they look like tucked out hmm Nah, no, that ain't the right look. It also looks cute if you wear something cropped as well. Like, how cute does that look, right? So let's talk about what an amazing job they did with this sweater. It looks just like Rory's in my opinion. It's super duper warm. Although I would like more fitted jeans. I feel like that would be more complimentary to this sweater. I feel like everything's a little too baggy. It'll do just for showing you guys how I plan to style it. I love it. Highly recommend. Hopefully it's back in stock when I make it. Let's complete the look, shall we? Here's this skirt. I really leaned into the art teacher, whimsy, goth sort of aesthetic. And I really like it. I like how the skirt hits my boots like perfectly. I really need a black crossbody bag to complement. This outfit, I probably will get my hands on one on Depop or something, but here's a look. Here are the pants I was talking about that I'm not sure if they work for me. I think they're really cute. It's just the... Oh my god, people are so loud walking by. Let's... One second. If you hear people talking in the background, I'm so sorry. Uh, that's just city living. Like I was saying, I really like these pants. The color, obviously, is super fucking cute. I like that I could tighten this and loosen this. But it's the thighs. Do you guys think I should just order a size up and hope that there's no room in the thigh or just give up and return them all together? Let me know. I'm also feeling like my hair is killing my outfits. I either need to get bangs again, cut it off again or something because I don't know. It's throwing everything off for me. As you saw earlier, this is the baby tee I was talking about. I actually created this outfit the other day and posted it on my Instagram. I love how it looks with these little rice jeans. And I'm just gonna show you the hoodies, how well they look with this look. The green scarf. It just works together so well. You can't tell me this isn't a vibe. Anyway, let's zip this up. 
I just want to show you how perfect it is. Not too long, not too short. Well, that looks weird, but I like to wear my hoodies with this elastic kind of tucked in. Ooh, let's try on the brown one for you guys. I think it looks cute too. I don't think the scarf would match though. Let's see. Hmm. It still works. A little tree-esque, but that's okay. This is gonna be my favorite bot outfit. You guys need this hoodie, I'm not even kidding, it's so good. I also have it in other colors that I don't like, but you might like. The look that inspired my need for a perfect hoodie. I'll, I'll put it here next to me. Let me try to recreate it real quick. Unfortunately, I don't have jeans that look like his. They're a little bit more fit, so I'm gonna have to look for jeans that are a little bit more straight legged. These are kind of baggy, but it is what it is. I have the band tee underneath, the beanie, the glasses. Is this better, but I tried my best. Let's pose like him. Let's get one of these. What do we think? Did I do it justice? Alright friends, well that's it for today's haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to continue seeing my face, you know what to do. Uh, leave me a little star in the comments for continuing to be consistent. Goodbye.